The Canadian philosopher and intellect Marshall McLuhan said a huge advantage of Canada is its backwardness. The national animal is a beaver, a dim-witted rodent known to bite off its own testicles and stand beneath a falling tree. The Canadians themselves may appear to be charming and polite, but just beneath the surface lurks a lumberjack. Meet Ian. Safely tucked away in a warehouse on Toronto's outskirts is the headquarters of the Backyard Axe Throwing League. This is where the inner woodsman is encouraged from his cabin to fling toughened steel at a bullseye. Where on earth would you expect to find a professional axe thrower? Toronto, of course. Ian Christensen is one. Here's how you throw an axe. Dominant hand on the bottom of the axe, a little bit sticking out your palm. No thumb on the back. Lean in towards the target with your opposite foot on the block, okay? Axe comes far behind your head between your shoulder blades. You lean in again, release at eye level, follow all the way through. Okay, go for it. Yeah, there's something very satisfying about doing that. Look at that, bullseye. In 1847, 38,000 Irish men, women and children fled the famine decimating their homeland and arrived here in Toronto. It was quite unbelievable because at the time, Toronto was a city of 20,000 people. In one fell swoop, the Irish almost tripled the population here. It wasn't an immediate fine Irish blend but eventually the Irish were regarded as invaluable, particularly in the construction of infrastructure and for the flavour that they added to the city. This memorial highlights the fear, the struggle and the apprehension of the Irish people and the contribution they made. Realising that where there were Irish, there'd be a thirst for whisky. Brothers-in-law William Gooderham and James Watts left the UK for Toronto, built a distillery and made a fortune from liquor. I've got to say, it's quite a vast area, really, isn't it? It's 13 acres of nationally protected heritage property uh, just east of the downtown core. It's actually the largest area of Victorian industrial architecture in the entire world. Of course it is. Of course it is. Perhaps because of the gentle whiff of whiskey from days of a glorious past hanging on the breeze, Chris seemed somewhat insistent that I try one or two of the flavours found here. I've heard you have um, legendary status as an ice cream maker in Toronto. I guess you've heard right. <laughs> <laughs> You're a man of great modesty. <laughs> well, what am I going to say? We tell the truth at Greg's. It's all about the truth. Right. And is it true, therefore, that you have beer ice cream? We've got some lager and we've got some stout. Is that beer, right? That's beer, yeah. yeah. Beer and ice cream. Who knew? Who <laughs> knew? Blows my mind. Join Scenic on a luxury nine-day Eastern Explorer tour of Canada, travelling from Toronto to Montreal. Prices start from $6,545 per person, twin share. And just for getaway viewers, visit scenic.com.au forward slash getaway now to get $250 per person off all Canada tours departing in 2018. For more information, to book or request a brochure, visit scenic.com.au or call 138 128.